Now I'm gonna turn it over to our special guest, periodontist and oral ecologist, PhD in oral biology, and professor at Division of Periodontology, OSU. So without further ado, Dr. Purnima Kumar. The virus that causes COVID is known as the SARS coronavirus 19. And what we know about this virus is that it is a single stranded RNA virus, which means that it is very, very, very tiny. It doesn't need a lot to survive and it's very tiny. But what we also know is that this, for this virus to actually cause an infection, it the viral protein, the viral RNA, has to be broken down, the viral protein, it's known as the spike protein, has to be broken down um, by some proteases that are found in the human body. These are actually enzymes that break down proteins. Um, and one, the, the name of that enzyme is furin. So this molecule, protease called furin, is present in lots of different tissues in the body. It's present in our hair follicles. It's present in um, the glands that produce spit in our mouth. So it produces, you know, it's found in many different organs. So there is a, although there is no evidence at this point, it is highly likely that there are large quantities of this virus that can be present in the glands that produce spit. And these glands are typically here inside our cheeks and under our tongue. And in these glands, these viruses can be found and they can maybe hang out even while a patient does not have an infection. We, or, or have disease or have fever. We don't know much more about it at this point, but it's highly likely that this virus can be found in our spit even when we do not have any symptoms of COVID. With any type of a contagious disease, it, oh, hygiene, any form of hygiene, washing your hands, washing your mouth, um, not putting your hand in your mouth, not putting your, you know, taking stuff from your mouth to your skin, just maintaining good hygiene, you know, flossing, brushing, rinsing, um, brushing twice a day, cleaning out your tongue sometimes. These are all very, very important in reducing spread of the infection. This is not just for coronavirus. This is not just for COVID. COVID. This is very good normal hygiene practice. At this point, there is no strong evidence that says, um, you know, one mouthwash is good over the other, or you should use a hot oil, or you should use hot um, salt water, or you should use dilute bleach or di dilute peroxide. There is really no evidence to say anything of that sort. When we know very little about something, everything becomes a cure, right? So, so you will all have read in the news by now that um, you could possibly use alcoholic drinks, you can use bleach, you can use hot salt water, cold salt water, any of these things to rinse your mouth and that's going to kill off the virus. Some people have even gone back to this old concept of using oil pulling with coconut oil or, or sesame oil as a method of reducing um, coronavirus. Here's what we know. We don't know that there is coronavirus in your mouth, that you your mouth can carry coronavirus. We don't know that. We don't know that there is any specific mouthwash or any type of mouthwash that can help you. What we do know is that the 
the um, covering of the virus you know it's, it's a cell right so the cell cover of that virus is made up of fat molecules and so these fat molecules can, can typically broken down, be broken down by anything that is soapy that's why you know when you touch butter or oil in your hands what do you do you go and wash your hands with soap very similarly if you wash your hands with soap the virus cell cover can be broken down that's all we know at this point we don't know that one mouthwash is better than the other but what we do know if you have a contagious disease or if you have an infectious disease good hygiene practice brush your teeth floss rinse your mouth scrape your tongue out all of these are very very good measures there is no specific measure that's going to prevent or cure corona disease so please be well stay safe stay by yourself don't go out you may be a carrier there is your when you go out you are not you know people tell me i i can go out because i don't think i'm going to get the disease that's not the important story you are staying home to protect someone else you are isolating so that you unknowingly don't give the disease to someone else that is the meaning of social distancing not that you are afraid of getting the disease when you wear a mask as you go to crowded places like grocery stores or parks or any other place the mask is not protecting necessarily protecting you the mask is preventing you from transmitting the virus through your breath or through your mouth air or through any of these things to the person standing next to you in close distance that is truly what is happening so please stay away from people carry out routine hygiene practices if you always washed your hand wash it one more time if you never washed your hands start washing your hand if you only brushed your teeth once a day start brushing twice a day rinse your mouth out every time you eat something you drink something just the simple act use warm water just use water and rinse your mouth out you don't have to use a special um, expensive mouthwash just rinse your mouth out all of these things are going to be hugely beneficial be well and stay safe hope this video was helpful amid all the rumors and misinformation please note that the recommendations and policies may be different worldwide and the discussed information may change as the COVID-19 situation evolves. For the latest updates, please refer to WHO and CDC websites, as well as your local authorities' policies, since this is a fluid situation. And don't forget, we are all in this together. Stay safe.